came above the famous Arch Bridge crossing the Chenab River in the Riyasi district of Jammu and Kashmir. The Chenab Bridge has been touted as the world's highest bridge. Costing of over 1400 crore, it has a length of over 1315 meter and a height of 359 meter above the river bed. It was the missing link in Udhampur Srinagar Baramula rail project. It has reportedly already benefited 73 villages across uh, in the region and of course 1.5 lakh population of those villages. And once the train starts here, it will able it will be able to connect Kashmir to the rest of the country, catering to crores of people. Konkan Railway is the organization which is uh basically supervising the construction of this rail bridge and also another 40 to 52 kilometers of this uh, link between Katra and Banihal. This is the only location where this bridge could have been built and if uh, from uh, Katra if you had to take a railway line this is the best place where the bridge could have been built. And this bridge is definitely uh, world class and it is an iconic uh, bridge and uh, the world over there are uh, bridges like this but railway this kind of height uh, highest bridge this kind of river this kind of terrain this kind of geology uh, has not uh, been faced by bridges of this type wherever these arch bridges have been made the geology has been much more favorable here we have been able to build this bridge with an adverse geology like young himalayas The Chinab Bridge will pave the way for trains to seamlessly ply along the USBRL project expected to be operational by January next year. Since it is built in a highly seismic area, special provisions in design have been incorporated by the officials. 28,000 tons of steel have been used and it has been constructed to withstand tremors of 8 on Richter scale. See, there is, uh, the steels are available, there are known steels, there is uh, there are special steels not available for normal construction. So they were rolled specially for us. And those bars are also, those bars are known technology. They are used for stabilizing the foundation, what uh, the Honorable MR had said. So uh, it was, it is something that uh, our designers had also suggested. And we have done for stabilizing the foundations. This bridge itself is a, it was a learning experience for all the organizations which were involved. But there is something unique. Every such bridge is a unique uh, technological challenge. Besides that, we are having some tunnels where we have had lots of uh, technical problems and a uh, lot of thinking has gone into it and we are being over able to overcome those challenges. Chinar Bridge is a part of a long challenging USBRL project that was first planned in 1999 to provide an alternative and all-weather transportation system to open up the Kashmir Valley and its economy to the rest of India. However, there have been a lot of delays because it is a massive exercise that requires the building of 38 tunnels and 931 bridges in a sensitive topography. This project is unique in a lot of ways. One is that this is uh, be between Katra to Banihal, the distance is 111 kilometers, out of which 100, uh, out of which 97 kilometers is under the tunnels and 7 kilometers is on bridges. So only 7 kilometers of plain land is available. A number of stations and yards are either inside the tunnels or maybe on a bridge extension or something of that type. That is number one. Number two, the area was highly inaccessible. So therefore, the railways uh, had to construct 205 kilometers of approach roads only to reach the site and ensure that men and material can uh, reach those locations. The number of bridges, we have four mega bridges on this. The one is uh, Chinab, which of course is the most complicated piece of uh, engineering. Another one which is equally impressive is Anji. Then there are two more bridges which are huge. But other than that, there are a large number of bridges. There are lo very long tunnels also. The longest transportation tunnel, tunnel in the country is currently working between uh, Kazigun to Banihal. All these tunnels impose a lot of, uh, require a lot of uh, issues to be addressed. One is that the uh, uh, people should be able to escape in an emergency, the fire protection should be there, air availability must be ensured. So all of these features we have ensured and in, uh, been incorporated in the design and are being provided. The print visited the site on Sunday when Union Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishnav was there to inspect the Chenab Bridge and promise its timely completion. 
He apprised those gathered that there were plans to run a Vande Bharat metro on the rail track to reduce the travelling distance between Jammu and Kashmir to just two to three and a half hours that would also benefit the trade of dry fruits, pashmina shawl and other consumable goods. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, he has put laser sharp focus on the development of the country. Chenab Bridge, all these tunnels, this project, this is one of those examples. This will become the lifeline of Jammu and Kashmir. This will connect the Srinagar and the Kashmir Valley with the rest of the country. The engineers, the technicians, the designers and all my friends who have put their blood and sweat in this project, I salute them. Another rail architectural marvel of the USBRL project is the Anji Khad Bridge, which is still under construction and like the Chenab Bridge, is a part of Katra Banihal section of the railway link project. The print visited the site to know more about it. Today we are at Anji Khad Bridge, which is being constructed by the Indian Railways and is claimed as India's first cable style bridge to connect Katra and Vyasa in Jammu and Kashmir. And it's located about 80 km away from Jammu by road in a topography which is both complex and daunting. It's 725.5 meter in length and it is going to be finished. It is expected to be finished by about May or June this year. <laughs> उस टाइम के बाद एक साल में हमने ये अप्रोच का वायदा बना दिया था इसने अर्थवर पूरा कर दिया था वर्कशॉप बना दिया था अप्रैल 18 में मेन केबल स्टेट ब्रिज का काम शुरू हुआ अब आप देख लीजिए एक ब्रिज का काम जो है लॉन्चिंग हमारी अगले महीने या मई फर्स्ट वीक में आखिरी सेगमेंट आने की उम्मीद है अगर आप इस साइड में देखेंगे जो कंट्रोल्ड है वहां पर स्पेस बहुत कम है स्पेस कम होने के कारण में टॉल भी बनना था वहां पे और अगर इतना ही बड़ा काम हमें फाउंडेशन का पाइलन का बनाना होता तो ये इतनी वर्टिकल स्लोप है यहां पॉसिबल नहीं था तो यहां पे एक ही साइड से जी सॉल्यूशन था कि हम एसिमेट्रिकल ब्रिज बनाएं तो वो ये बेस्ट पॉसिबल बनाया है मौसम का चैलेंज क्या है मौसम का चैलेंज क्या है मौसम के चैलेंज बहुत आया है जब हवा तेज चलती है तो यहां पर केबल स्टेज का केबल का ये हाई टेंसाइज स्ट्रैंड्स कहते हैं इनको ये खास तरह के स्टैंड होते हैं जो नॉर्मल प्रीस्टर्स पिच में यूज करते हैं उससे बेहतर होते हैं इसमें तीन तरह का प्रोटेक्शन होता है एक है जिंक कोटेड होते हैं उसके ऊपर ये वैक्स कोटेड होते हैं और उससे फाइनली पीयू शीटिंग होती है According to Gupta the bridge was designed after studying the last 100 earthquakes in the region out of the 47 segments for the bridge about 41 are already put in place and about 90% of the work is already completed the railway tracks will be laid after it's finished. However, that doesn't mean it has not faced any problems, even with approximately 500 people employed at a time for its construction. The challenge of the weather is very high. When the wind is blowing, there can't be a cable station here. All the work, as you can see, there is a tower crane that is 205 feet high. With that tower crane, there is a lot of work to launch the cables. तो वो केबल क्रेन जो टावर क्रेन है उसका ऑपरेशन 45 केमपेज की जो स्पीड आती है हवा की तो हमें बंद करनी पड़ती है वो अनसेफ हो जाता है और सेफ्टी के लिए एक्स्ट्रा प्रिकॉशन रखने के लिए हम 35 केमपेज को काम बंद करते हैं तो अभी हवा हमारी काफी तेज चल रही है तो अभी काम उसपे टावर क्रेन पे रुका हुआ है तो ये सबसे बड़ी बात है उसके बाद में जो बारिश होती है उस पे काम नहीं हो सकता रात में काम नहीं हो सकता लेकिन अच्छे मौसम में हम 24 घंटे काम करते हैं ये पूरा एरिया सिस्टमिक जोन 4 में पड़ता है लेकिन हमने इसको सिस्टे ब्रिज प्रोजेक्ट में सिस्टमिक जोन 5 के लिए डिजाइन किया है लेकिन इस ब्रिज पे हमने साइट स्पेसिफिक स्पेक्ट्रा यानी कि हमने एक्चुअल साइट पे जो आईटी रुड़की से स्टडी करा करके जो डिजाइन पैरामीटर है उसको इनकॉर्पोरेट किया so these are the architectural marvels of India and like any other project that is the highest or the first, it has its own challenges. But the silver lining is that, that as per officials, they will be completed soon and will result in a closer link between Kashmir and Jammu and to the rest of India, which will have its own socio-political and economic benefits. This is Sukhutivats for The Print.